Hello everybody out there and welcome back to another Fear the Walking Dead episode review. This is episode 3, The Dog. And I really feel bad for what happens to The Dog in this episode. And now I understand why the episode is called The Dog. Before we get into this review guys, if you have not watched episode 3 yet, there will be spoilers in this review. Um, I definitely recommend checking the episode out before watching this review because I am going to kind of pull the episode apart and pick it apart and mention scenes and there might be certain spoilers mentioned so if you haven't seen it yet I recommend watching it first and then come back to this review click that watch later button and then once you've watched the episode come back because um, I'm gonna be trying to just go through the episode and give my opinion of it uh, instead of doing a non-spoiler then spoiler I'm just gonna do a full-on review and try to make the video a little bit shorter and a lot more fun to listen to. We also had a week gap between episode 2 and episode 3 because of Labor Day. So we did not have an episode last week. So between the gap and uh, I enjoyed episode 2. I, feel, I felt like the action picked up. A lot of people didn't feel that way. A lot of people felt that it was still lagging. And the first episode everybody agreed it was very drawn out. Characters just didn't it just didn't do it. It was very stretched out and really nothing happened. Um, so did episode three deliver and make people want to come back for the rest of the season because we are officially halfway through now with this episode. And this episode's late. Mike has been sick so everything's going to be coming out in the next two days on this channel uh, for um, last week's books and obviously any reviews that are coming that we're talking about this week. Anyway, um, did it deliver and a lot of people I've noticed are digging what's going on with Fear the Walking Dead. Now, some people aren't. Some people are a little bit happier. Personally, I like the way the action is gradually progressing. If I can say one thing, it's we definitely are seeing more and more zombies appear as the episodes continue forward. The first episode, we saw one, if at all. One or two, and that's it. Episode two, we got to see a few more. This episode, we get to see a lot more. Uh, we get to see with the riot that's going on outside. We get to see that there are zombies mixing in with the with the people, and they're infecting other people's uh, bits and bits at a time. There's a really cool scene where Christopher's looking out from the um, the barber shop, and one of the zombies actually passes right in front, and he he kind of jumps back. Really good. Now, one thing I will say is we definitely get more character development in this episode. Which is good because now I finally have opinions on some of the characters and not like a big question mark. Travis, however, I feel has gone down the dumb side a little bit. But then again, I mean, I went out after watching this episode and I kind of was like, this is dumb. These characters are stupid. They all deserve to die. Almost every single one of them deserves it for one reason or another. And then I stopped and I really thought about it overnight since I couldn't do this review yesterday. And I'm glad I didn't do it yesterday because after thinking about it, it's like, you know what? We know what's coming. We've watched The Walking Dead. We've read the comics. We know that the world is going to fall, basically. So they don't. So they, of course they're dumb. And of course Travis is going to believe that maybe everybody's just sick and somehow, some way things are going to get better. Or there'll be a way where the army or the government or somebody's going to step in, solve the problem, quarantine the infected, and the world's going to move forward and everything's going to be fine. I mean, I think I would feel the same way in a way if, if that was happening. I would hope for it anyway. I don't know if I'd be as stupid as, the, as these people, but I would still be hopeful. That's what they are, hopeful. Uh, Nick's character, on the other hand, his personality definitely gives me the feeling of he's an ass. I don't like him. And Alicia, I kind of feel the same way with her character. She's another one. Christopher, however, I feel is, that another, is one of the, the only child in the group of the three of them that I actually feel like he has a brain and isn't a jerk completely. I mean, there is that friction between him and his father, and it definitely plays out in this episode. But Nick and Alicia, I really... Alicia's stupid. Nick, is all he's caring about is his next fix, and he doesn't give a crap about anybody, and you could see it. You really could. But Nick is more on the ball. He knows that the infected aren't infected. They're dead and somehow coming back. So I like how Nick kind of knows what's going on without really knowing what's going on. But anyway, we finally, Travis, Christopher, and Lisa finally get out of the barbershop and the Salazar family. And you see them going through the riot. You see them, you know, getting in the truck and, and getting back to Travis's house. And you see all these little 
you know, a hospital's destroyed and you see a zombie in front of it, you see the zombies mixed in with the riot people. That was a really good scene. And I'm glad they got out of the barbershop. It did take a while to get them out, but they finally did. And then Madison, along with Nick and Alicia, are stuck in their house. And you got that zombie that's still walking around outside, one of their neighbors. And they escape. The power is going in and out throughout this entire episode for the nights, for the entire beginning of the episode. They finally escape and go next door. And then they find out Travis is home. And the zombie that was somehow trying to get into their house is in their house. And there's a dog involved. The dog was chasing, running away from the person, then chasing after the zombie. And then you get to see the zombie. Uh, well, we all know what zombies do to living things, so I, I don't want to get into that. That was a very... I, I don't like um, animal... Even I know it's fake, but that was that was a little bit overdramatic scene there with the dog. But um, the Salazar family actually have... They have a shotgun they find in the neighbor's um, house. And suffice it to say, they figure out how to take out the zombies. Or what they want to call the infected right now. And it turns out one of their neighbors is also infected. And you see that debate like Madison wants to kill her neighbor to put her out of her misery, but Travis wants to believe there's a way to possibly cure her. Maybe it's just an infection. And the Salazar family, they're preparing for war. They've been through hell and back again. The mother's leg is bu a foot is busted. And uh, if she doesn't get proper medical treatment, she will die due to the infection. It, there's a lot of stuff going on. And then you got the daughter who wants them to go with the Travis's family to the desert to get away from people. And the father's like, no, we're staying here. I'll protect you. Um, as Travis is leaving, there's a scene with the neighbor's husband that comes home. That scene was inter was really good. Definitely check that out. I'm not going to say what happens. Uh, but suffice it to say, I will spoil that Madison doesn't kill her neighbor. So when the husband comes home, there is a scene. The army shows up. Travis is all like, ah, oh, the cavalry's here. Things are going to finally get better. Yeah, no, they're not. They're, we, we know they're not. But um, the action in this episode was really good. I feel like it's gradually progressing towards the world that we know it's going to, go, it's going to become uh, for The Walking Dead. I don't see how there's going to be a season two right now. However, there are a lot of possibilities, like I discussed during the first episode review. I mean, they could go into the future where it's this group of people surviving the apocalypse now. I don't know, but um, I really don't care if some of them die, to be honest with you. There are some characters that I would not be upset if I did not see them in season two. Uh, but... Um, all in all, I would definitely recommend checking out Fear the Walking Dead. I'm liking it. I know a lot of people are iffy on it or not interested, waiting for the regular Walking Dead. And then there are some people that are trying to enjoy it, that are now enjoying it, uh, or some that are still on the fence. This is one of those series where it's unknown characters. It's really an origin, and Robert Kirkman never wanted to do an origin because he never wanted to explain how the outbreak happened. And I'm glad, even though it is an origin, it isn't. They don't go into how... The infection started. They don't go into what, who the first zombie was. They don't show the first zombie or anything. They literally just show the world right before the zombie infestation started and slowly progressing into hell. So I'm liking it. I'm going to be sticking with it for the next three episodes at least. Will I be talking about The Walking Dead Season 6 if I can get at least a recap of the past three seasons because I'm three seasons behind? I will continue directly after this. However, I mean, I was here and there with the governor series so we'll see I'll, I'll try to get into season six and move forward i i was i watched the finale of season five so i'm kind of up to date while not being up to date so we'll see where it goes i'll probably continue the walking dead rundown reviews uh and just run down through the season six anyway that's it for this review feel free to click any of the links below connected to this channel Comic Frontline, Zone4Podcast.com. You got Frontline Gaming Zone. Things are under construction there, but will be coming soon. And let me know what you guys thought of Episode 3. Did it make it for you? Did it break the series for you? Are you interested in Fear of the Walking Dead? Do you not care about any of the characters? Um, your thoughts are always welcome in the comments below. Uh, personally, there's a lot of opinions that can be formulated with this series. Uh, personally, I'm interested but not 100% invested yet in this uh, prequel. See where the series ends and see if I'd be willing to come back with the way they season finale it off. Alright guys, so that's it.
see you guys really soon. Take care. Keep reading. Keep collecting. Look forward to World's Finest Review Week 306 to start up right after this video. So see you guys there.